Hello guys, um, Andrew here. So we're back with a single wall channel. So today we're gonna talk about uh, ChatGPT and uh, if ChatGPT can help Drupal developers to uh, um, do some tasks and help with some tasks. And um, if uh, the code would Sure, will be generated by ChatGPT uh, have high quality and if it's suitable for Drupal 10. So let's um, ask first uh, on a simple task. Uh, ChatGPT, for example, in our project we need uh, some blog plugin uh, which will show count of all published nodes uh, on our side. So let's ask it. All right, and let's wait what he will generate. I will a little bit speed up the uh, response. Uh, do not use a lot of your time. So as you can see, um, ChatGPT immediately gives some advice uh, to use model from Drupal.org instead of generating code. So this is uh, great, actually, this will help uh, young developers and uh, junior developers to um, uh, use Drupal in the right way. First of all, you need to check if there are any model uh, which can solve your task exists on Drupal.org. And uh, only if there are not, and there are known models, only after that you can think about to start to write some custom code. So this is actually very good advice from ChatGPT. All right, so, but we still want to get uh, some custom code from ChatGPT. So maybe uh, let's do a next way. Let's a little bit change our requirements uh, from the previous uh, and let's put that we need custom block plugin here. So uh, hopefully <laughs> it, um, we will get some generated code. Yeah, let's wait a little bit response. So, okay, we're started getting response. I will speed up a little bit and to what we see here. So, ChatGPT, first of all, gives you a plan uh, uh, to create, how to create a custom model in your project. Then he gives some uh, hint for uh, InfoYAML file for your uh, custom model. Uh, and then he gives you advices how, what the structure should be for your custom model. Uh, that that's that's really awesome. Yeah, so you have for all details uh, how to create that custom model, what the structure should be, and now we see uh, actually a plugin itself. So we see a namespaces. We see that uh, there are all needed comments for good code quality, and we see the logic itself. Let's wait, finish our generation. All right, so yeah. So basically answer for itself is a very cool one, especially with this note. Yeah, uh, that you need to have any knowledge about Drupal development. So um, basically you need, you have everything. If you have everything to, um, uh, finish your task. You have information about model structure, you have information about uh, plugin itself. Uh, so you have code, you can code your base, and if you have basic knowledge about Drupal development and Drupal models API development, so I think it will be easy for you to put this in your project. Cool, uh, but let's make this test a little bit complex. As you can see, this block plugin doesn't use uh, any caching system. So let's ask uh, ChatGPT to add some caching to this uh, block and to clear that cache when any node will be published or unpublished. So, and then let's see uh, what kind of answer we'll, we will get. All right, so... And here's the answer. 
Okay, we have information about what we need to add to our build. And also we have information what hooks we need to use to invalidate our cache. Nice. Um, great, we have node update, hook node update, and then hook node delete. So, yeah, that's that's exactly what we need here. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, if we create a new node, uh, the hook node update will be not triggered. Only hook node insert. But maybe I will mistake, I will retest after with the video. All right, I think that's enough for today. Let's summarize. Uh, so I think ChatGPT very good, good tool for Drupal developers. So it, it really can save some time. Uh, also, the devices and answer from ChatGPT uh, looks great uh, with a high quality. Uh, to be honest, uh, before video, I made more than 10, maybe 20 questions to do a charge GPT about different uh, um, tasks. And uh, yeah, that's was pretty great. Uh, also, he can give you advice about uh, uh, deprecated code, what you shouldn't use in Drupal 10, what was deprecated in Drupal uh, 9, Drupal 8, and so on. So, yeah, let's use guys. And uh, waiting your feedback in comments. Thank you very much for your time.